Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for waiting. I know you guys have been here for some time, sweating like me. Um, uh, so I appreciate your time today. Um, it's an honor to have all of you. It's an honor to have all of you here. Um, and I'm looking forward to speaking with you and articulating what it is that we're trying to accomplish. Just a disclaimer, I speak very fast. So I apologize for that in advance. And I hope that I could answer all of your questions sufficiently. Um, but let's get started. And again, if you guys have any questions, please jump in whenever you feel like it. And if you can't hear me, please tell me to repeat myself. So my name is Sharpan. I'm the CEO of The Indian Market, which is the company that is hosting the event today. Uh, we are aiming to be India's first commercial metaverse. For those of you that don't know what a metaverse is, it's essentially a platform that enables the transfer and exchange of digital assets like cryptocurrencies and NFTs. And so what we're enabling is businesses from all across India to launch their own cryptocurrencies, their own tokens, and connect with their customers and investors in ways that they have not been able to. That is why we call ourselves the Indian market, because we believe that we are the future of the Indian market. At this point, about 110 million people in India own cryptocurrencies, but I believe none of you own any. And so that gives you an idea of where the opportunity lies. And we are here to bridge the gap between the technically sophisticated percentage of people that are taking advantage of this opportunity and everybody else, maybe they're living in tier two, tier three cities, maybe they don't have access to the same information or maybe they're just a bit more cautious. But because we're working directly with businesses of all sizes in the Indian market, we're able to connect with customers and investors that technical platforms are not able to. We work with companies that are trying to raise money through tokens. We work with companies that are trying to sell products through tokens. And most of all, we work with companies that are trying to reward their customers. This event today is the first in a series of quarterly events that we are gonna have across India. If you visit our website, Indian Market, www.indian.market, you could see that we have events every three months where we showcase all the companies that are using our platforms. They're using our platforms such as IndianInvestor.com. That is one of our platforms. IndianOTC.com, TaxChains.com. These are all different elements of the cryptocurrency or tokenized experience for Indian citizens and Indian businesses. So we feel that we are on the cutting edge of what's happening. We feel that we are in alignment with the government and we feel that we are the missing gap that could connect the next two to 300 million people in India to this absolutely critical, important revolution in technology. I apologize, I wish I could say that again slower. <laughs> but yes, does anybody have any questions? So right now we've onboarded, because this is our launch today, so we've onboarded six companies that have done share token offerings, which is a fancy way of saying they've used cryptocurrency to raise capital. And we've onboarded another six companies that are using it for rewards. And so today those companies are getting showcased as well as some of the companies that are about to launch their tokens directly on our platform. And so until today, we haven't let any end customers use our platform without invitation. Even if you go today, all of our platforms require invitation because we were waiting until April 16th when we were gonna do this launch event. And so we've been working on this for about two years now. Um, we have probably one of the largest blockchain development companies in India um, that we started back in 2018, but we had been waiting for the Indian government to become friendly toward cryptos before we launched our Indian market and our Indian platforms. And as you guys probably know, the government has opened up, thus giving us an incredible opportunity to be a leader in this market space. So this, oh, it's an incredible question. So if you compare India's cryptocurrency potential to other countries, you would be flabbergasted. So it's no shock that the majority of people who are interested in crypto are young people. India has the youngest, I mean the largest young person population in the world. There are more people under the age of 30 living in India than all of North America combined. The next thing that you need is access to internet. Because great companies, telecommunication companies in India has made internet basically free, they've onboarded, not just through crypto but through UPI platforms, hundreds of millions of people into thinking digital first. If you go to other countries, they don't have that. And so there is probably about 400 million people in India who are able to buy into crypto in terms of their internet access and in terms of their type of st their stereotypical demographic. And so right now about 100 million people, that's 10 CR people in India have crypto. 
So there's an easy 4X opportunity, and that's not counting in all the people that you would have to educate, which probably is another 200 million. I would say this, the amount of people that could use crypto in India are the amount of people that can have internet access. So you take that number, and then you subtract who already owns it. It's a very, very small market. And the, if you say 10 CR people have crypto, almost all of that, 95% of that, has come in the last year. So in the la if you take 2020 data, January 2020 data, only 5 million people in India own crypto. Today, that's 110. This staggering growth rate only happens several times in anybody's lifetime. It happened with the internet. It happened with e-commerce. It's happening again with crypto. And so that's the size of the market. It's colossal. So I see almost, first of all, I see in the next two years, hundreds of thousands, or I should say lakhs of businesses creating their own token. You already see celebrities, you already see brands that are jumping in head first. I think it was Tata Mahindra just did a completely sold out NFT sale. And so there are companies in India that are already thinking ahead. And then you have a tremendous amount of content creators that are now enabling to you know, create tokens to be able to connect with their user. The only thing missing, and it's the biggest market, is helping small businesses get connected to this market. Big businesses already know about it. Individual freelancers already know about it. But if you walk outside and you just go for a walk and you talk to every restaurant, every tea store, none of them would know about it. And that's what we're here to resolve. One of the ways that we plan on doing that is by making the onboarding of getting into this market free, by making it frictionless, and by being a physical presence that almost all companies in crypto are completely digital. And so we're investing heavily, specifically in Hyderabad, into physical infrastructure where people can come, business owners can come and get onboarded into this space. And so I see the market, even in the next two years, expanding dramatically. But if you ask me a five-year outlook, I would say that about 25% of everybody in India would own crypto. Right now it's 9%, so just to give you a context. That was my answer on that. This is the biggest challenge when you're doing any type of B2B, especially financial related products. Because local businesses have a very, as we say, local worldview. They only think about their direct customers and their direct suppliers. And so because of that, you, if you're the platform provider, need to invest in their local community. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're starting here in Hyderabad by opening up several franchises where business owners can come and get educated. We're gonna talk about that at today's event. But then we're expanding our physical infrastructure because most small business owners and local business owners still need the equivalent of, a, of an advisor, somebody to hold their hand as they get into this space. See, for me and people that are like me, we didn't need anybody. We just went on the internet, we Googled it, we thought we could make money, and we joined. That is not how normal people or average people get into things, right? That's a very risky way of doing things. And so we plan on using the Indian market the same way um, uh, many you know, uh, e-commerce platforms tapped into India's small business market. Now we're just doing it with crypto and tokens. And one more thing I would say, the biggest the biggest concern for small businesses is immediate cash flow. If you ask a large corporation, hey, what do you think about five years return, uh, earnings? They'll answer that question. If you go to the store down the street and say, what do you think you're gonna make five years from now? He'll laugh, because he does not know if he's even gonna be in business next year, right? And so cryptocurrencies, especially tokenized vehicles, give small business owners the ability to get quick access to capital, which is their number one requirement. And so because they have a local customer base, and, and I would say this is the, the real point here, there is a type of customer that only local businesses can talk to. And that is who we're going after. So that's answer your question. So right now, all businesses that want to tokenize, whether it's their equity, whether it's their products, or whether it's their reward offering, are free for the first full year. And so normally, companies would charge a fixed fee to be doing this because it requires a bit of software development, but it also requires listing and maintenance charges. We are waiving that for the first year because we are trying to onboard as many people as possible. Moving forward, however, what we plan on doing is by doing a profit sharing model on the sales or, or the rewards of their token. So if you are a small business owner and we were working with you, we would say instead of you paying up front, which is impossible almost for a small business owner, we would say we could do a profit sharing model on the proceeds from your new token. You have to understand we are helping businesses tap into a revenue stream that doesn't exist. 
right? When they go home tonight, they didn't know that they could make money this way. And so by giving them this new vehicle, you are giving them a new stream of income that, they're, that we would be tapping into. That is how we make money, but it's tied to the success of our customers. So that's how we do. Right now, the cost of registration is completely free. Depending on what type of token you want to create, you could go to IndianInvestor.com or Indian Market, and you could register absolutely for free. You could play around with the dashboard. You can enter. You could learn. You could. We have a library of videos that you can watch. And really, what we were trying to do is get as many people to this event as possible, so that from here on out, we would be doing a lot of local B to I mean B to B marketing. So, cost of registration is free. Maintaining your account is free and creating tokens right now is free for the first year. Part, sorry, say that again. Great question. So the current, I, I love that question as well. So our number one objective, I, I wouldn't say this is for the year, but our next big milestone is to help 500 local businesses get connected to the metaverse, which is again, to the crypto market. Right? We believe we could do that within 60 to 90 days. But I would say if we even accomplished that in 2022, we would be very satisfied because the way that this market works is it's very much like a web. If you are set, if you're if you're a restaurant in Madhapur and you now get onboarded into the crypto world, all of your competitors have to. They have to because they are losing out on something. The only reason they haven't onboarded yet is because nobody's doing it. But as soon as you penetrate, let's say restaurants or let's say car mechanics, today we have a car mechanic from Nalagandla coming on who's going to speak today, who is going to talk about how he's using crypto to enhance his mechanic business. He doesn't know anything about crypto. And so now all of his competitors are going to have to jump on board. And so this is a very kind of word of mouth concept, because if you're a small business, you cannot afford for your competitors to be doing something that you weren't. And I'll give you an example. When, when UPI first came out, and you went and talked to many small business owners, they didn't understand it, most of them didn't believe it, right? But as soon as their competitors got it, it was just very quick, because you cannot afford, once your competitors are on board, to miss out on something. 500 small businesses is our current target. We hope to exceed that within the next quarter, and then we'll look on to the next financial year. It's a great, that's another great question. Okay, so right now we have a rewards program. The primary strategy is that we, we reward businesses that help other businesses get onboarded. So we have an entire compensation structure whereby if let's say you're a restaurant and you are surrounded by maybe other restaurants, but more importantly, other businesses, when you bring them on board, you are able to get rewarded for that. So we're seeing a lot of organic growth like that. Um, but of course, we're sending out a B2B sales team right now to be able to integrate with these 500 businesses. Um, but from what I could see, because there's no cost associated, none of them are saying no. I think the challenge for us is going to be to get them to use it every day, right? Anybody can sign up to something, but to get them to use it every day and to integrate it as a fundamental customer experience, that's what we're focused on. So I would say the finance minister did a lot of our work for us by doing that because when she rolled out the official taxes, many people uh, contacted me, you know, people, and they not even for any, they just talked to me and said, oh, I heard this tax bill came out. Is it legal now? And as you know, uh, you know, 80% of people are not following the news. They're not watching every single day. And so when a big step like that is taken by the Indian government to tax cryptocurrencies, well, you know, it's not good for me actually for them to tax cryptocurrencies, but we have a company called Tax Chains in the Indian market which is only dedicated to helping people that are investing in crypto and businesses accepting crypto to be compliant with the latest bill that came out of the parliament. And so they did a lot for us in terms of educating people. Um, how we're doing it, I'll tell you, it's by being as local as possible. All of our videos are being translated right now into Telugu. And then as we expand, we exp we're hoping to expand to Karnataka Kan uh, Kan next. It'll be translated into Canada. I think this might be the first time that this type of information is disseminated, not in English or not in Hindi. And so I think there's a huge opportunity by doing things like this, by giving people opportunities, small businesses to share the stage with us, but as well as giving them the content in ways they can understand. And I'll put it like this, right now there's no risk. There's no cost, there's no upfront, there's no decision on their part. All they could do is try it out. And because the people that are trying it out right now are ahead, they're ahead of everybody else, they're the ones that are making the system better. They're making our product better. And that is why we're working with them so closely and, and giving them a lot of promotion. I'll give you an example. If you guys stay around, there's gonna be sweets at some point, 
right? That sweet store, which is a typical small uh, sweets provider, has agreed to work with us. And even today, what they're doing is branding all of the ethnic sweets crypto. And now they are bringing tokens into their sweets business. You would never think in 100 years could that happen, but it's happening. And so we have real life examples of where this can take off. And we think this is a very viral concept. It's already gone viral with your kids. I'm telling you, it's already gone viral with your kids. Our job is to make it go viral with you guys. Thank you.